What's up everybody, on this video we're gonna take a look at this frosted glass spray and see how it can change glass like that to a glass like this. This is four layers, we're gonna show you exactly how to do it. Stay tuned for the whole video. What's good everybody, today I'm gonna to show you a very easy way to create a private window. Now this is a new condo that I just got and we have three giant pieces of glass here. Now that is a bedroom behind here, but of course, there's no privacy and there's another bedroom over there. So we're gonna go and use this Rust-Oleum frosted glass to make it semi-transparent finish. That way we're still getting the light coming in and we're only gonna do the top two because I'm six feet and this is six, three or so. Now the first thing you do is you wanna go and mask off all the edges and get yourself a drop sheet. Even though it's not gonna look like there is much happening in here, you're gonna get a lot of overspray. It's all gonna get up on the floor. So make sure you guys get some sort of a sheet. All right, so we've masked this up. We just used a standard two inch green painter tape so this is the seam seam and then edges of the glass now before you spray make sure you open all the windows all the doors and you want to get yourself a respirator mask you do not want to be inhaling this stuff all right so grab this now make sure this is warm like room temperature if it's cold or in a garage put in a little bit of bucket of warm water let it sit for like 10 minutes and then shake it and you're gonna have to keep shaking it throughout now you're gonna notice that when you're spraying you want to make sure that you keep the nozzle clean I'm trying to get it to focus but make sure you always keep the nozzle clean all right now you are gonna we're gonna do about three coats so we did get two cans just in case because this is a pretty big space but i think one should be enough to cover three times all right so let's just get spraying you can see that the spray is actually about four inches so you can see i'm going and then i'm overlaying it a little bit all right so this is the first coat as you can see it's already looking pretty good. Now remember, you can always wash this off. We're gonna wait 10 minutes in between coats. We are gonna put probably three, four even, because I this is not a large area, so you're gonna get four. All right, so this is level layer two. Much, much darker. Now remember, all these little spots here, they're gonna dry up and blend themselves in. So we probably have enough for another layer and a half. It should be enough, in my opinion. I want to show you guys the overspray that I was talking about. You see that? So this fine white powder is all over the sheet. See that? Now you can see right over here. And also some of it did go on here. So this is why it's important to protect your flooring. So we're working on our last and final fourth layer. And the can is just about done. So we're just easing it all up. And there we go. So now, you see what one can can accomplish. See on the other side, it looks like a mirror finish, right? Yeah, I'm happy too. So that's the video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.